Here at The Retiring Right Show, we believe that if you are near or in retirement, that you should have the retirement you have always dreamed of. That's why we search for health and finance and fitness and entertainment and all the best of the Coachella Valley. This episode will not disappoint you as we've got some great things lined up. I'm your host, Amy Scruggs, and welcome to Retiring Right. PGA West Golf Course is one of the most iconic golf courses in the country and well sought after. We got a chance to be there firsthand. Let's check it out. So here we are at PGA West, beautiful Weisskopf number one. Thank you guys for joining us. So tell me a little bit about the Weisskopf course. Right behind you is the Weisskopf course, signed by Tom Weisskopf. Wall to wall green, parkland style golf. A Little bit more forgiving. The members love to start the season out here because it's a little bit more uh, open golf course. And it's just a like big fairways, green, yeah. beautiful emerald fairways. And now there's a big tournament that's played here every year. And every year it started out as the Bob Hope Chrysler Classic, I think known to anybody who golfs. Uh, through the years it's changed uh, sponsors. We are really excited that this year American Express that's is the new deal. sponsor. That's a big deal now with American Express. Yeah, they're going to do a first class job, so we're really excited about that. Um, and the final round is played on our world famous stadium course and after the the round of golf, then we have our concerts. Uh, big, big production, and then we have after parties over at the clubhouse, so uh, our members love it. Yeah, it's a really, really fun time. That's coming up in January. By the way, John, you probably remember that this is the 20th anniversary of David Duval shooting his 59 uh, in 1999 to win the Bob Hope all those years ago. You coached him to do that, right? Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Some of your favorite holes here, tell us about them. I think the, the, I get that question a lot. The golf course that everybody wants to play when they're here is the stadium, right? It's the finishing course for the American Express, the third PGA Tour event of the year. Um, a lot of famous holes. You've got the 16th hole with a bunker that's 20 feet deep. Phil Mickelson, you remember last year, was unable yeah. to get out of the bunker on his first try. I've actually been in that bunker and they had to lift me out with the <laughs> helicopter. You don't want to go left on 16 followed by 17, which is the island hole called Alcatraz, um, which is a pivotal time in the tournament. It's the second to last hole. Anything can happen in the last three holes a in lot the stadium, of, a lot of course. Balls are lost a lot of balls are uh, lost. A lot of balls lost off the island green there. And then followed by 18th, but we're excited to have the American Express come back out here this year uh, for their first uh, tournament here at PJ West. That is unbelievable. Yeah. Serious golfers. Yeah, that's right. Serious, but we've got a golf course for every level of play. So if you're just beginning or you are a master golfer, you're going to find your spot here at PGA West. Something for everybody. Something for everybody and more. Well, let's go take a look at some of the other amenities here. So here we are at the Peaks Pool. Tell us a little bit about where we're standing. All right, this is our brand new pool complex. Uh, Peaks Restaurant behind us, open daily uh, for lunch and dinner. And uh, we do some great parties down here on the pool deck. We have barbecues and bands. We have Sunday brunch. We have NFL Sunday football. So uh, it's it's great. It's a great place for families. You've got you've got spin class going on right now. A little outdoor spin class. We do. We do outdoor spin. We do actually. We do over seventy group exercise classes per week. They're all included in the membership. So Pilates, yoga, Tai Chi, spin, TRX, you name it, we have got it covered out here for you. So that's how you stay in That's shape. right. <laughs> <laughs> so, and then right behind us, we've got the pool. So we got a heated pool throughout the season, 25 meter lap lanes. We do aquatic classes, and then it's just open swim resort style pool. We have a lot of the concerts that we have on the green out here. We've got uh, a Polyester Express 70s cover band coming out, country band, we've got Jazz Under the Stars, uh, we've got art show, car show, so we really embrace the outdoors here at PJ West. 
Um, it's a beautiful spot, as you can see. Okay, so I love to eat. <laughs> tell <laughs> does, me, it tell doesn't me show. about the food here. <laughs> <laughs> so PGA West, uh, we've got three clubhouses, as you know, uh, which has uh, altogether five dining outlets. So okay. we've got um, everything from a casual fare, poolside dining, outdoor dining, to formal dining. So uh, five restaurants altogether. Uh, we have a, a beautiful restaurant in our private clubhouse, uh, open for lunch and dinner with uh, patio uh, seating that looks out over the lit mountains at night, fire pits. Yeah, no, you never need to leave okay, campus. I'm, get, I'm getting hungry. <laughs> Are you you're okay? Gonna stay, we'll take you to lunch. <laughs> Joni, Dominic, thank you guys so much for this wonderful tour. Really enjoyed it. Really appreciate it. Absolutely, John. Yeah, John. If we can get you to upgrade your membership and get you out of here more, we'd love to have you. Yeah, you work Deal. too much. <laughs> Deal. <laughs> <laughs>
classic equestrian meets luxury lifestyle. Now we're gonna go out and meet with Dirk Pierce, who had a chance to talk with one of his clients about how she enjoys life more abundantly. Let's check that out. Well, hi, Darlene. Hi, Dirk, how thank, are you? I'm good, thanks, and thank you so much for letting me come over today. Gosh, I can't believe it's been three years since you bought this home in Sun City Palm Desert. Yes, yeah, I can't believe it either. It's been fantastic. <laughs> it looks so much different than when you first got it. Tell me something three years later now, as you look back, okay. how has it worked for you doing the Heckin' for Purchase? Well, it's been fantastic because I was able to put half of my uh, purchase price down mm -hmm. and the remainder being in, still in the bank. It allowed me to remodel. It allowed me to be able to pay my taxes every year. And, you know, financially, it's a great. You know, I mean, in 2008, as part of the, there was a, a stimulus bill called the Housing and Economic Recovery Act. Mm -hmm. And that's really where the program came from. In 2008, it was introduced mm -hmm. as part of the Housing and Economic Recovery Act. And basically, it's a program that it's, enables a person to purchase a primary residence with a one-time down payment of about 50, 55% mm -hmm. of the purchase price. And then they never have to make monthly payments, as you know. Yes. Um, all you have to do is pay your property taxes, your homeowners association dues if you have any, and, and your homeowners insurance. It's just like the best thing that I've ever done. My husband and I um, had never even dreamed about doing a, you know, a Heckam for Purchase in the past, and I've owned two other houses here. But when I purchased this, it just, with the knowledge that you gave me, the information, it just helped me to make that decision. And it was a good one. I'm so glad I did it. I know, it's like, I mean, I look at it and it's like a dream home. You have a, a beautiful interior and the swimming pool and you've got the golf course out there. And I even saw you have the uh, fishing pond right next to you. It's just, how many people would love to have this type of view and with all the amenities? Um, do you belong to any of the clubs or anything since being in here? Absolutely, yes. Tell I, me, what do you um, do? I'm into the ceramics club right now. Okay. I have been vice president of the jewelry club and I play pickleball and tennis. Oh. So there's a lot of activities here to belong to or to get involved in. Yeah, that's and, exciting to hear that everything that the program has done for you. I'm so thrilled. Mm -hmm. I know it works different ways for different people. You know, my mom's situation was one where she actually uh, became ill was living in Arizona and my sister and I begged for her to come back to California mm -hmm. um, but it was during the financial downturn and they actually owed as much on the house as, as the mortgage and but in talking with her and her husband uh, they they were in a position where they could put a one-time down payment on a house mm -hmm. it was about 50 percent of the purchase price and we were able to get my mom to move back here to Sun City Palm Desert to be close, closer to me and my sister, and then we were able to spend more time with her. But for you, I see it's, uh, you got to remodel, you're getting to do a little bit more traveling. Uh, you're really just getting to enjoy your retirement. Yeah, I wanna enjoy my latter years. Yeah. You know, and if I, of course I'm on a fixed un income, mm -hmm. but if I had not used this program to my advantage, I wouldn't be able to do some of the things that I'm able to do today. Hmm. And I'm in boomers and solos and, you know, I'm in several clubs here and it's just so much fun here. Darlene, thank you so much for letting me stop by and just, you know, I like to see how my customers have benefited from the program. I, this is exactly what I was hoping for. This is a program that really changes lives or maintains a certain lifestyle. I'm so glad to see that now three years have gone by and the program is still benefiting you yes. and you're, you enjoy everything it's done for you. And I always told you I always work for you. I don't go away. If you ever need me, you can always call me. So, yes, and that's been true. Yeah, and we've had a few times that we've talked. Yeah. So thank you, thank you for letting me come by today. I, you're gonna continue to see me. I'm always in the neighborhood. Yeah, well, thank you. You're welcome.
The McCollum Theater has incredible history and is a one of its kind for the Valley. Micah Maria took us out there. Let's go take a tour. Jeff, thank you so much for having us here at the beautiful McCallum Theater. Well, we're delighted to have you here. Thanks for coming. Yes, of course, our pleasure. So we've been a fan of the theater for many years and we've been lucky to see several shows here. They've all been fantastic, top-notch quality. And um, I understand you've been working here for several years. I and have, yes. I have. I came here uh, almost seven years ago. I came here from New Jersey. Oh. It was uh, quite a, a, a cross-country yes. jaunt, but it was a great opportunity to work in a, a facility that is absolutely beloved by the community. So that's exciting. Yes, yes, and something that is um, maybe a little bit unique is that uh, this theater is also a nonprofit, right? Well, yeah, there, you know, one of the things that I wanted to kind of address after I got here, mm -hmm. there are really two things that people don't understand about the McCallum Theater. Mm -hmm. One is, in fact, that we're a nonprofit, and two is that we have a million dollar education program. Mm -hmm. So let me just uh, refer to the first part first. Um, as a nonprofit, um, only 60% of ticket sales uh, 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 account for our operating budget. Got so, in other right. words, the other 40% has to be raised philanthropically. Mm -hmm. So we had to raise between about six and eight million dollars a year just to keep the lights on in this place and to pay the artist fees and what have you. So that's one thing and we have a very extraordinarily generous community who help us do that. Mm -hmm. The other part of that and one of the reasons why you know it, it, it's a little more expensive is that we have this million dollar education program. We're in uh, 300 classrooms every year throughout the valley into the high desert. Uh, we do, uh, last year we did 2300 workshops in wow. theater, dance, music, and the visual arts. Fantastic. We have nine teaching artists who go into the classrooms. Mm -hmm. They'll go three or four times. They bring the kids here. We have a field trip series also that we bring the kids, the, the students to, uh, to the Performing Arts Center here. Um, we don't just hit them on the head, you know, pat them on the head and send them home. We create curriculum materials that are available on the websites so their teachers can access them before and afterwards. And then our education program also runs the Palm Desert Choreography Festival mm -hmm. every year and Open Call Talent Project, which is a great uh, valley-wide talent uh, contest. So all in all, we serve over 40,000 students and educators every year with our McCallum education program. Well, this is such a treat to be able to be in this beautiful theater, you know, with you and sitting down, you know, w without a performance going on. And I, you know, um, I'd love to know a little bit more about the history of the McCallum Theater, some some important details of the theater. Sure. Well, the McCallum actually opened on January 2nd, 1988, uh, and it was actually uh, televised later on. It was recorded for, uh, uh, for television for NBC, uh, and on opening night, it was hosted by Lucy. Gil Ball and John Forsyth. Uh, it was a tribute to Bob Hope because when the McCallum first opened, it was actually called the Bob Hope Cultural Center. Mm -hmm. uh, and we had uh, Vic Damone and Diane Carroll, and we had this um, up and coming young uh, composer who had a Broadway show coming up the following week that was going to open. Uh, and uh, it's a fellow by the name of Andrew Lloyd Webber. <laughs> and the show was Phantom of the Opera. Wow. And so uh, the McCallum and Phantom of the Opera are now both 32 years old. <laughs> wow. So That's it's really so cool. cool. Yeah. But you know what I, we were talking a little bit earlier, what I love about this space is if you look at the, the, the last seat in the balcony, it's only 90 feet away from the stage. So it's a really, yes. really intimate, intimate space. Yeah. And, and, and I think that you know it, we, we have people who love to sit in the front and bless their hearts, um, but there is really not a bad seat in the house. Right. So it's really kind of exciting. Um, as a matter of fact, we have an upcoming uh, event that we're hoping people come to. Uh, it does help us with our philanthropy, and that's our annual McCallum Theater Gala. It's on December 5th, um, and we're honoring Jan Salta, who is a wonderful philanthropist in the community, and our performer is going to be Seal. Oh, and now Seal is going to do some of his, his hits, mm -hmm. but he also uh, he did a, an album 
album of standards. Mm -hmm. So he's going to be singing, you know, Luck Be a Lady mm -hmm. and, you know, Smile and all these wonderful old songs that everybody loves. So that's going to be kind of fun. Oh, that's well, that's going to be a hit. Yeah. But if you walk around the, the, the whole theater, there's so much history here. Yes. In the lobby, you'll see, you know, busts of, of some of the, the early right. people who, who made this, this theater possible. Um, if you go backstage, there are these wonderful signatures of everybody who's ever performed here oh, uh, cool. on, on the walls backstage. So uh, there's there's a lot of history within the building. There is, and just a lot of great names that are on the wall on the wall for mm. people that have really supported the theater. I mean, that, that was amazing. It took a long time to kind of go through because there's been so much support for the theater. Yeah. And um, it's just a really fantastic um, institution in the desert. Yeah, really. well, we are we are absolutely blessed with the generosity mm -hmm. of, of, of the, the people who donate anywhere from $100 on up yeah. to our founders. Uh, but we're also, you know, very grateful for the ticket buyers who come mm -hmm. back and back and back every season. Some of them, you know, maybe once a season, some of them buy 50 shows a season. Right. So that's that's what helps make this place You have run. your season ticket holders yeah, as well. Yeah. 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 Fantastic. Well, thank you so much, Jeff. We appreciate learning about all the history, all the shows. The slate is amazing. Uh, the outreach programs uh, in the schools with the kids, bringing the kids in here. And, um, and I just want my dad, yeah. uh, we, we just uh, uh, got a new president and CEO about five weeks ago. Oh. Uh, his name is Terry Dwyer. Okay. He was at the Sacredstrom uh, Center in Costa Mesa oh, beforehand. Yes, of course. Uh, and uh, you know, we're having a lot of conversations on what the McCallum means in the future. What is it? Um. What does it mean to be a performing arts venue in the 21st century? Mm. And a lot of those conversations are going to, you know, revolve around keeping what everybody already loves about the place, mm -hmm. but seeing where we might be able to expand a little bit, where we can be a better community partner and community resource. That's so exciting. we don't know where those conversations are going to take us. So what do they say in TV? Stay tuned. It, that's right. <laughs> Stay tuned. Yeah. And we will. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jeff. Thank you, Jeff. If you'd like to learn more about Retiring Right, please visit our website where you can download the Relocation Checklist and our Location Magazine and get more information. We are so grateful that you have followed us and watched us here on Retiring Right. Make sure and share on social media, and we'll see you next time. I'm your host, Amy Scruggs.